Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at secondary indexes of DynamoDB. A secondary index is a data structure that contains a subset of attributes from a table. DynamoDB allows you to create one or more secondary indexes, and so you can efficiently access data by retrieving only a small subset of attributes. You can issue query or scan requests against these indexes. DynamoDB supports two types of secondary indexes, Global Secondary Index and Local Secondary Index. Global Secondary Index or GSI is an index with a partition key and a sort key, that can be different from the base table. Queries on the GSI can span all of the data in the base table, across all partitions. A GSI is stored in its own partition space that is different from the base table, which can scale separately from the base table. Local Secondary Index or LSI is an index that has the same partition key attribute as the base table, but a different sort key. The partitions of an LSI are scoped to a base table's partitions, that have the same partition key values. LSI shares the same partition space with the base table. Every secondary index is associated with exactly one table. When you create an index, you define an alternate key for the index, such as a partition key and a sort key. You also define the attributes that you want to project or copy from the base table into the index. DynamoDB copies these attributes into the index, along with the primary key attributes from the base table. You can then query or scan the index, as you would query or scan the table. Every DynamoDB table can have a maximum of 5 LSIs, and an initial quota of 20 GSIs. You can request a quota increase of GSIs using AWS support. The primary key of a global secondary index or GSI can be either simple or composite primary key. A simple primary key is made of one attribute known as the partition key. A composite primary key is composed of two attributes, a partition key and a sort key. The GSI partition key and sort key can be any attributes in the base table, as long as they are string number, or binary type. You can specify a GSI partition key that is different from the one in the base table. You can create GSIs when you create a new table. You can add a new GSI to an existing table, or delete an existing GSI from a table. You can perform query or scan operations on GSIs. Queries on GSIs only support the eventual consistency. A GSI has separate RCUs and WCUs from the base table. Read requests on the GSI consume capacity units from the index. Updates on the GSI also consume capacity units from the index. With GSI queries or scans, you can only request the attributes that are projected into the index. DynamoDB doesn't fetch any attributes from the table. The primary key of a local secondary index or LSI must be a composite primary key, which is composed of a partition key and sort key. The LSI partition key is the same attribute as the partition key of the base table. The LSI sort key can be any base table attribute, as long as it's a string, number or binary type. You can only create LSIs when you create a new table. You cannot add a new LSI to an existing table after its creation. You can perform query or scan operations on LSIs. Queries on LSIs support both eventual consistency and strong consistency. LSI uses the same RCUs and WCUs of the base table. Read requests on the LSI consume capacity units from the base table. Updates on the LSI also consume capacity units from the base table. With LSI queries or scans, you can request attributes that are projected into the index, as well as those are not projected into the index. DynamoDB automatically fetches those attributes from the table. When you create a GSI or LSI, you need to add a projection to the index. A projection is a set of attributes that are copied from the base table into a secondary index. The partition key and sort key of the table are always projected into the index. You can project other table attributes to support the query requirements. When you query an index, DynamoDB can access any attributes in the projection. DynamoDB provides three options for projections. Their keys only, include and all. The keys only option allows each item in the index to consist of only the table partition key and sort key values, and the index key values. It results in the smallest possible secondary index. The include option includes table key values and index key values, and non-key attributes that you specify. The all option includes all attributes from the base table. All of the table data is duplicated in the index, which results in the largest possible secondary index. The index key attributes can only be any string, number or binary type from the base table. 
All other scalar types, document types, or set types are not allowed. In a DynamoDB table, the combination of partition key and sort key values for each item must be unique. In a GSI, the partition key and sort key attributes can be different from the base table. The combination of partition key and sort key values for each item doesn't need to be unique. That means if the GSI primary key is partition key only, the partition key can have the same value for different items. If the GSI primary key is made of a partition key and sort key, the combined value doesn't need to be unique. If multiple items in the GSI have the same key value, a query operation returns all of the matching items. In an LSI, the partition key attribute is the same as the base table. The sort key attribute can be different from the base table. The sort key value doesn't need to be unique for a given partition key value. If multiple items in the LSI have the same sort key value, a query operation returns all of the matching items. In this episode, we've learned DynamoDB indexes. Global Secondary Index or GSI is an index with a partition key and a sort key that can be different from the base table. Local Secondary Index or LSI is an index that has the same partition key as the base table, but has a different sort key. You can create GSI when you create a table, add a new GSI to an existing table, or delete an existing GSI from the table. Queries on GSIs only support eventual consistency. GSI has separate RCUs and WCUs from the base table. You can only create LSI when you create the table. However, you cannot add an LSI to an existing table, or delete an existing LSI. Queries on LSI support both eventual consistency and strong consistency. LSI uses the same RCUs and WCUs of the base table. Okay, that's all for DynamoDB indexes. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!